will take our first video question. Jamaica and the Caribbean nations are known for shaping their unique identity through cultural diversity. Um, what lessons should Rwanda and African nations learn from them? I believe, Mr. President, perhaps you could take the first. This one comes from Rwanda and then Mr. Prime Minister, or would you? Well, I'll give the, the President some time to think of the answer. <laughs> All right, so you go, Mr. Prime Minister, please. Look, it's a, it's a, a, a good question for the Caribbean region, particularly Jamaica, uh, we see culture as an important asset, an important tool in our economic development. Uh, so uh, the, the first thing I would say is that we need to figure out a mechanism to, first of all, protect the intellectual property that is involved in our culture and then to monetize it. Uh, and then to do that in a way that does not uh, lessen the value, the intrinsic value of the culture. I think that is really, that is really the, the, the challenge. And I think that has to do a lot with how the society embraces the culture through strategic things such as training, uh, which is not always the case, but training is very important and exposure, the platforms that we create to exhibit and to um, give our culture that showcase. Uh, and for Jamaica, music is such an important part of our culture. More than that, it is now a part of our identity. And so for us, we, we need to embrace it, take greater ownership of it, help to increase the intrinsic value of it, but at the same time, try to monetize it so that it can genuinely, truly reflect as part of our national output. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Do you have a perspective, Mr. President? Well, I add uh, to, to, to your uh, statement, Prime Minister, culture and then, I mean, things that I didn't are identical uh, to um, this beautiful country, Jamaica. It's just not culture, it's also sport. I think they come together and uh, in a very good package. But let me say, culture and uh, diversity are, are key uh, uh, and important ingredients in the innovation and creativity which in the end actually uh, tie well into the development of economies. And um, so there is a lot to learn uh, from one another. There is a lot for us in Africa to learn from Jamaica and the Caribbean. Uh, and in fact, diversity also, even the culture, um, create um, need and, and environment for, for respect of the other. Uh, and uh, through that, uh, you can uh, rise to, to greater heights. Thank you both. The this, this social aspect, the economic aspect, and of course, the socioeconomic uh, perspectives are critical for us to keep at the center of our discussions on culture and their deep value and intrinsic potential. Uh, to both our nations and indeed the continent. This is a question for the president of Rwanda. With 60% of the members of your lower house of representatives being women, what advice do you have for countries like Jamaica that want to increase female representation and participation in politics? Women in the past, uh, in our country, uh, were not considered, were you know, there was a lot of inequality and so on. So what we do is really look at uh, legislation, uh, how first look at the need, the problem, and then you legislate to make sure that the laws that are put in place are sensitive to that. But laws alone will not deliver anything. You have to make sure that uh, there is not only 
that intent but also the mechanism to make sure that what uh, you put in place is going to work to deliver what you wanted in the first place. So we, we worked through the registration first because we understood the need to, and what we were doing. Then we also created uh, a mechanism. Uh, we have um, a gender monitoring office in the government which works across the board to make sure that the policies and the implementation part of things uh, are actually in place and happening as we intended to achieve. So at every year, uh, there is a, a report provided and we go back and test things and say, uh, to see whether what we intended to do has been done or what has, or that was achieved as we intended. Uh, so, and, and then there is education. You don't take anything for granted. We say we want to empower women, we want to do this. Just talking about it and legislating and also monitoring is not enough. You still have to have um, efforts of outreach. You go to uh, the communities and explain and to women and, you know, it even takes some reminding that, uh, you know, this is a place for women too. Thank you so very much, Mr. President. I saw our minister responsible for gender nodding emphatically as you spoke. So it's important for us as women to see ourselves as leaders. It's important to remind men and women that women belong in all spaces, including decision-making spaces, and of course, ensuring that there's reporting and measuring and monitoring and evaluation assisting implementation of every policy together with public education. So this, these are, are great guidelines for us to follow, and I see violent agreement <laughs> in the audience.